11 years ago, I divorced my parents. I was 25 and I had started working for this amazing studio in Missouri. And we photograph like 500 sessions a year. It's a 7,000 square foot studio. It was quite an honor because I was just a kid who goofed off in school, although I got A's in photography. That's where I excelled. And it was like Christmas. My parents were coming and they were gonna finally see what a success I'd become. I was so proud. I was beaming like a little kid, like I said, at Christmas. And so they come to the studio and it's, as a, it, it's just like I imagined. They're excited. All the display prints that are on the wall are my photos. They're mine, every one of them. And they walk around with me and it's time to go. And my father says, we didn't even think you'd go to college. I'm like, king of the backhanded compliments, right? And everything from childhood rushed back into me. This was a pivotal moment in my life of, I am never going to please these people. I am never going to be good enough. Look what I've done. I graduated college. I became a successful photographer. And still, the, com the comments. And that changed everything in my life. Fast forward, 2014, I'd been divorced from them for four years. I met my person, Jake. And he came with Leah, who was about to be a high school senior. <laughs> I remember but being 17 was like, so there were obviously bumps in the road because Jake had spent his life raising Leah. And now dad wasn't available to Leah all the time. So it was one of those things where you have to, well, where I had to say, what's this relationship going to be like? Because statistically, I should have treated Leah just like my parents treated me. But I am blessed with positivity and connectedness, and I wanted something different from that relationship. And so when she had science projects go growing in her room, Jake got to handle that. Yes. <laughs> but really, she was actually a very responsible young woman, because she always wanted her, her phrase when she was, could barely walk was, Leah do, daddy. So she was independent, which was a lot like me. So we did have some commonalities, even though obviously there was some headbutting. Well, actually, she didn't know there was any headbutting because I just walked away when things didn't go my way. Because <laughs> I knew, I knew what that did to me as a child, as a young person. That 25-year-old photographer who was so proud and then so broken in the next moment, I knew I never wanted to do that to anyone else in my entire life. Now, mind you, I got some really good therapy after I broke up with my parents, so. <laughs> and of course, before I met Leah. But I, there's just not enough positivity in this world. And I didn't want to be someone who added negativity into it. And so I'm the kind of person who, even when you don't have a great time somewhere, I'm not going to go write a bad review. There's already plenty of those, right? And so, Again, with Leah, Leah was like the light bulb moment for me in my photography. I'd always photographed family, children, high school seniors, and weddings. And then I hired a coach who was like, you should brand female entrepreneurs. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, of course, why didn't I think of that? That's, that's my heart. Women who are on the rise, who know they have a big message, what could be better than that, right? And then I realized there's not enough positivity in the world. <laughs> because when you start talking to women about being photographed, putting their face out there, and elevating their image, it's, n it's not that easy. You'd think it'd be really easy, because I like to be photographed. But I realized in talking to so many entrepreneurial women, that's just not the case, because somewhere in our lifetime, Someone said something to us. 
your, your smile's crooked, or you don't look good doing that, or you don't look good doing this. And so all of a sudden we're afraid of the camera. But what we don't understand is that being vulnerable, as Brene Brown says, is the most accurate measurement of courage. And so I love to challenge entrepreneurial women to be courageous and be curious about what brand photography can do for them. Because I've seen it, I've seen the magic of it. I have a client who's 65. I've been photographing her for five years. I was her third photographer. Her two other sessions were epic fails, as she called them. So you can imagine, on my way to the session, I mean, I've got like 20 some odd years behind, my, behind me in photography, but I was nervous. She was an artist too, so it was like a double whammy. <laughs> so thank goodness third time was the charm. We had a great time, and now I photograph her at least once a year, which is exciting. And that first session was one of those, she blossomed. I thought she was just a, a serious person because I didn't know her that well yet. And she just opened up and blossomed. We put her in clothing that she loved. She was in a location that she felt comfortable in. She brought her dog with her. We got some of the most amazing photographs. And now when I photograph her, she's this big, bright, shiny light. She's like that person that I photographed the first time, but now she's so much more comfortable because it's like riding a bike. Like you can get on the bike anytime, right? And take off. And that's what she has done. And this year, I'm so excited. I was just talking to her. She said, I'm going to double my income by June, and I will quadruple it by December. And I'm telling you, every time I open LinkedIn, boom, her pictures pop up. Or one of my other clients' pictures pop up. I'm like, I love watching entrepreneurial women show up. It's so exciting. Not to mention the, the photos are my babies, of course. It's like, oh, one of my babies just popped up, right? <laughs> And it's so, it's so refreshing when women stand in their courage and say, I'm going to take my business as far as I can. And if I have to do something that scares me, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Just think about it. As entrepreneurial women, <laughs> isn't every step we take scary? And I always remind women, what? Ask yourself, what could real, authentic brand photography do for me if it really expressed my voice? And so get out there and be that woman who is fierce and is willing to take that step forward. Thank you.